From Dance Moms, Musically, SOMG Pop, Call My Guilty Pleasure, Terrible Polish for Eurovision, Explicit Magazine for a Shoot, to scamming children and handling negativity like a child. Hi, my name's Sophie, and apparently there's a lot more to unpack than witnessing the absolute horrors from her Explicit Magazine for a Shoot. I think everyone, willingly or not, have seen this terrible for a shoot where she grew a tiny cucumber between her legs. It's just horrendous, like, I'm an ally, but this freaky ass <coughs> thing should be kept dead in chambers. And the fact that she's holding it and shove it down her throat. Wait, they just they just actually said that. That's what she said. Hey! So proudly just proves that how desperate she wants fame. Other than that, deep down she knows Americans absolutely hates her after her rebrand. So she quickly dropped a statement saying how she is interested in participating in the Eurovision Song Contest, especially wanting to represent Poland due to her Polish heritage. <laughs> and this is her proof. Today. Right, my great 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 cousins were actually from Ireland. Therefore, can I join the Eurovision as a representative of Ireland? I hope you enjoy a few pints with the lads tonight. Up the ra! See, this is the proof of my Irish heritage. This blood vein is Irish blood. Claiming to have some DNA of Polish while being born and grown up in America for years is such a bold move. <laughs> You know you've mastered your Polish when even native Polish can't even understand what you're saying in this video. Not even Duolingo can help her. It's given that time when Jim Carrey said his father was Scottish. I'd like to pass on a word of advice that my Scottish grandfather gave to me when I was just a boy. He said, son, don't grade it in the grinder. Don't grade it in the grinder! Are you listening to me, boy? And even a Scot, <clears throat> Limmy, <clears throat> can't understand what he said. Wow. What's he saying? I polish up your nice, but do you know what it says? I polish up your <laughs> Please stop with your Polish jokes already. We get it. You've polished it nicely. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Ha ha ha. Damn, bro. You got the whole squad laughing. She has posted 1, 2, 3, 4, 16 videos on TikTok about Poland and Polish. It's the first of the month. Or post on Instagram. Any Polish or Europeans, feel free to comment down below if you need help or support because I can feel her aurora shifting towards Europe. Just wait till the day the whole Europe starts fully hating on her like America and then she'll shift towards Asia claiming to be 5% Chinese. Which Jojo, consider this a pre-warning. I will literally make a whole video essay about you in my own language so people can know how cringe you are. Stay back Jojo! Ho! Stay back! Don't ever set foot in Asia! Ho! Stay back, stay back! What's funnier is that the Polish Eurovision bosses didn't even acknowledge her existence. The people in charge of Poland's Eurovision entry said they haven't spoken to reality TV star Jojo Siwa about representing the country. In a post on TikTok, the 21-year-old claimed she had real discussions about performing at the contest next year. But Polish podcaster TVP said they wasn't speaking to artists and hadn't made any decisions about Eurovision 2025. Jojo goes on to say that she is talking with the people in Poland Poland, but there are a lot of lost digits to navigate. I have a project that I'm actually committed to when Eurovision is happening, but I might be able to make both work if Poland wants me to, she says. I don't think anyone in Poland wants you to represent their country. An American representing Poland. The math is not adding up. If Poland wants me to represent, I will be there. I will make it happen. That's going to be an absolute nightmare. Jojo, who was born in the US, again, in the US. But however, thanks to Jojo, America is now part of Europe. And wanting to fit in with Polish didn't work out for her, so her pre out team and stylist decided to log in. Wait, that just mentioned in the end? Linkin Park reference? I tried so hard and got so far. The easiest way to make her turn and people express the concern on her mental health is by fashion. 
Fashion is fashion, we get it. But what on earth is this? It's giving handcuffs or mental asylum fits, but bougie. <laughs> That 1% bacteria on my hands after surviving the soap apocalypse. But like, with this I feel like I look like a little like... Like a little lunch lady. <laughs> <laughs> Not Metallica's Justice for All Tees and plate trousers. Oh my days. I just heard a punk and a Metallica fan fainted from across the country. Even Sheen Punk style way better than whatever this is. Either her stylists are pranking her or her taste has reached a new low. <laughs> Look at the guy in the back. He is not impressed. If I ever see Jojo Siwa wearing this out in the streets, I am willing to transform into an edgelord and go up to her and demand her to name five songs. Which I'll go first. The un Forgivens. Creeping Death. And Eye of the Beholder. Tony and Head looking. <laughs> Onto the real deal here, the Industry Dance Awards and Gala Stars will feature the DAC Icons performance, Cherry Yogurt by Jojo Siwa and directed by Jason Siwa, aka her mom. Basically, it's like American's Got Talent or any talent show where you have a big opportunity to become the next Jojo Siwa. Well, not her current era, but you get me. You're invited to participate to perform for two nights, complete with mandatory rehearsals, getting to show off your talent at the Avalon Hollywood and the Beverly Hilton, while the money goes to Dancers Against Cancer, an organization for dancers who are battling against cancer. Every 60 seconds in Africa, a minute passes. Most people were upset about how much she charges just to secure your dancer's spot and covers the cost of costume, that being $500. What? What? Hold up, oh, hold up, wait a minute. Wow. This contribution not only guarantees participant but also supports a heartfelt cause with all proceeds benefiting DAC. But they didn't state how many percent they're donating, which is a cheeky move because they could only donate a quid and still argue that they've donated. While family tickets include industry dance awards at $75 and gala stars at $250. Mind you, both performances are different, so you have to pay them separately. I repeat, separately. Let's say both parents are willing to see both performances. That would be $150 for Industry of Dance, another $500 for Gala Stars, plus hotel rooms, transport tickets, and that would be about $1,300. $1,300 in such economy is considered posh, royal even. Wait, did I just hurt myself as a brokey? In terms of money we have no money i tell you if i have that much money right now i'll be as happy as winning a jackpot and getting a bottle of champagne to celebrate save it up and spend it wisely wait did i just mention champagne is it really a donation if it's to secure your spot that sounds more like a deposit you're not getting back low exactly because it says how it secures your spot meaning that if you don't pay for it then basically you only have a tad bit of chance to get in people were also criticizing the scheduled time let's take a look the main problems are tuesday and wednesday being all day rehearsals and performing but what exactly is all day <clears throat> like 24 hours corner show maybe like practicing all day then performing at night but jojo these are all children. After all, imagine paying that much money just to see a kid get fried. But oh well, it's all for fame and opportunity, right? Now do the split. <music> Gonna mention how packed the schedule is. There's no way you can master everything within three days. And they know it, so they're trying to squeeze everything under seven to eight hours. Ending it with how this opportunity can make your child become the next big star, dazzles everyone and also helps people in need. Let's be brutally honest here. Just say this chance is only for posh people. If you don't got the money, then don't even consider it. I got the money, I ain't gonna play it. Nobody else wanna but mine, but mine. That's how you know right now. With poor management, personality and a face like that getting posted on the internet, one would definitely get blasted with hate, trolls and even threats online. So let's see if you can really handle it like a real adult. What are you gonna take away from this competition? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I got my first tattoo, making sure everyone has seen it. 
should have known better if I had a wish. But to be fair, the wheel is so me when I see Ashlaw who thinks listening to Go Go Off or keys to the astral gates and mythic doors. Makes them special. And so do not do their research thinking I'm talking about literal gore in this reel. Um, actually, gore noise is a music subgenre of grindcore that combines gore grind with noise music. But don't worry, they're just whining and calling me a poser and telling me to off myself. That reel has been months and it's still doing good numbers, so yeah, keep being ignoring, keep being an edge lord, it brings me numbers. Okay, but back to topic. Someone calm my ADHD down. I don't see why I'm here pulling out another baddie fifth for New York Fashion Week. <laughs> this is a little something I like to call. No matter how good you hide it, the micro expression shows it. You can tell she's holding her tears and rage in. Loki clenching her fist, trying not to burst. She provided a bro regard to turn to a big blue boober because she was also a bad girl. <laughs> hey kids! Licking teeth and taking small sips of water is another method of holding it in. But the brows and fake smile speaks louder than words. Hey kids! I'm like the fuzzy pom pom to glue to your kindergarten project, but have your nightmares! <laughs> the Grinch! However, it's quite impressive that she kept it in. And and kept her mouth shut for 33 seconds. So please, take more time to practice doing such actions, then the internet will be at peace. Yep. Sending hate from Brazil. No bro, please, not my country, please bro. Go oh. start taking your meds. It's quite shocking that the comments on that mean- Oh, right, uh, we're in TikTok right now. Oh, my girlfriend dumping me was better than this. That's good one to end it on. <laughs> I have to say to that. Karmato suka. Suck my kutas. <laughs> If she reads a few comments from Instagram, I swear she wouldn't be that calm. I'm all in for hate comments, but saying on my last post that the van missed me by a little bit, mm, van was so close, that's not hate, that's f <laughs> duh. I'm not a JoJo fan, but this is indeed too much. Hating and throwing shade is fine, but to the point of wishing someone's death? Today. This, this has crossed the line. Unless they're like P. Diddy or Danny Masterson. What's more confusing is that she claimed her new era will not be for kids. As I'm aging up, yep. I kind of know that now there's gonna be this hole. Who's the next generation of kids gonna look to? So kind of felt that was my duty to like, Fill that hole, you know, because my new stuff will not not be for kids. But afterwards, being present on an event that's only for children and making a video about how you're going to Comic Con. What's up, everybody? It's me, Jojo Siwa, and I am so excited to finally tell you all I am coming to Rhode Island for Comic Con this year, November 1st to the 3rd. Dress as your old self. I don't know what you're gonna get. Hell, I might even put a bow on my head. What? Who said that? I mean, I got the first, second, and third. See y'all there! And displaying things that's from the past. Hang out with y'all, take photos, sign autographs, maybe even a couple surprises or two. It's gonna be a ball. Come meet me in person. You might get construction worker me. You might get the black beast me. I, I get it. Nostalgia is a trend. But given that most kids nowadays have internet access, and seeing this video of you, thinking that you're still the SOMG pop era of you, then seeing a dance video of you grinding on the floor, it's pretty misleading and traumatizing. Like pick a side, either targets towards people over 18 or back to children. You can't say this while doing something that's opposite of it. If this video does well, I can make a whole video about her defending and becoming Abby Lee Miller 2.0. Them not being here is kind of like, let me erase my past, pretend it never happened, shove it down the drain. Oh, that's not. In the sense that, no. You're being exposed by Rolling Stones on this article to the point where even parents were involved on Reddit. Cause that's another rabbit hole for us to dive in and explore. Coming down your thoughts on her finding more ways to grab the same attention and fame like she had when she was still a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I'm betting her next plan is either different heritage claiming, something about private parts, <sighs> yeah, again, or new music. Speaking of music, just remember that Jojo has more than just karma and guilty pleasure. Let me know if you want your ears bleed with me as well on future videos. I'm So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. You either vanish as a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Bye bye!